there. Uh, so my name's Cassandra. Um, I've decided to make this video because I found that it's really hard to find videos of people reviewing specific Etsy shops with perfumes. I find there's a lot of videos where they have like 20 samples from 15 different shops. Um, and I'd really just like to focus on one shop at a time. Uh, you can find blogs about it, um, Reddit posts on different shops. Um, me personally, I prefer to watch videos. <laughs> um, so that's why I'm making this. Um, <clears throat> so I am, I will go over just like the convenience of the Etsy shop itself, customer service, and then like the price and the scents themselves, of course. Uh, so my first, um, uh, Etsy shop that I will be reviewing is Red Deer Grove. Uh, they do have two different shops. So Red Deer Grove, they have their perfumes, colognes, and candles, and a bit of, like, spa stuff and gift sets. And their other shop, which I'm really sorry, I forget what it's called. Um, if you can find it, please let me know. Um... And then they do like more kind of natural aromatherapy and I believe they have like crystals and that kind of like spiritual healing stuff on there. Um, I really like perfume so I'm just going to be doing the perfume itself. Um, so first off with their site, um, they have a lot of scents and they're categorized differently than most Etsy perfume shops. A lot of Etsy perfume shops will have um, like florals and uh, incense and that kind of thing like put into each scent category like gourmand and that. Um, they don't do that. <laughs> they have a uh, truly peculiar, slightly peculiar. They have spa and relaxation so they have a bit of stuff there. Candles and then they have Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead, and Penny Dreadful. So they have three different TV shows. I believe Penny Dreadful is a TV show. Um, they have Die Hard Hippies as well. And then they have a sale section. <clears throat> so I didn't write down the sense that I got, like, where they're from. Some of them will be able to tell. You'll figure out why. Um, but I thought that was interesting that they kind of put them like that. Uh, they do have very peculiar scents where I'm just like, I have no idea how this is going to smell. Um, so I guess that's why they did that. And they do like to be original and be a bit different, which I also really like. Uh, I've never ordered from them before. I was really excited to try. Uh, so that's their site. Um, they're like kind of like a family business. Uh, the owners and creators are Laura and Sherry. Um, I've spoken to Sherry the most. I believe I've messaged them a few times and they always reply back really quickly and they're super nice. And it seems like they have a lot of their family and friends just helping them with testing them out and sales and customer service and all that kind of thing. So I thought that was really nice. Um... The site itself, uh, it's a bit different with the scents in that. A lot of Etsy perfume shops, when you're scrolling on your computer, you'll be able to just kind of put your mouse over and the caption will have a lot of the notes that you would find so that you would be able to know like, oh, I definitely don't like those notes. I'll just skip over that scent maybe, narrow it down or, oh, I really love that. I'm going to check here. Um, they don't really have that. You actually have to go into the description box and click onto the scent itself. So I thought that was a bit inconvenient, um, but not a big deal for me because I just love exploring perfumes. Um, but it is, yeah, it could be a bit inconvenient if you don't want to have to click on each scent and if you're just going by the name and the picture that they have up. Um, so to their like ingredients in that they are both their shops are natural healing all that kind of stuff uh they do have two different uh so they have like a perfume mist and then a perfume oil so the perfume mist uh they have it listed their base uh they get all their bases from bulk 
apothecary. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And their fixative is orris root. And um, then they just add fragrance oils and essential oils as they see fit. Um, and then their perfume oils and clone oils. Uh, their base is fractionated coconut oil. And again, they just add essential and fragrance oils. Um, so they do have all those listed on their about section as well as for like body lotions and candles and all that kind of thing. And I'm sure if you had another question, they would be happy to answer it. <clears throat> um, to move on to the price. The prices are amazing. Um, the samples themselves were $2.80, um, which is really well priced compared to other shops like some shops have samples for like six seven dollars which i think is a lot for like one or two mill milliliters um and you do get two milliliters so the samples look like this um so i thought that was a really good price and then so when you actually want to get a full bottle they have half ounce uh, they have, like, I'm in Canada, <laughs> so, and they are in Iowa, so there's a bit of a price difference. I'll give the U.S. price first. The half ounce are $9, and the one ounce are uh, $17. They do have two ounces for $28.50. I don't see any two ounces on their site right now, so I couldn't tell you how much it is Canadian, um, but their half ounce Canadian is $11.58. And their one ounce Canadian is $21.88. So again, that's a really good price. And they even say that on their site is like, we try and keep the prices as low as we can. So I really appreciate that. Like, I feel like they do this because they really just love making perfume. Um, <clears throat> so that's for the price and all that kind of stuff. Customer service. Like I said, I messaged them before. They messaged back. Um... We'll move on to what I ordered and again, kind of segueing into customer service. So I did get a handwritten note with the order. So I thought that was really nice. It reads, hi, Cassandra. Thank you so much for your order. Hope you find something here you love. Sherry. I thought that was very, very cute. And the shipping. Holy cow. Like I said, I'm in Canada. They're in the States. I ordered it January 8th. And I got it in like January 10th or 11th. So that's very fast. Usually when I order from the States, it's like 8 to 15 business days. A very long time. So when I got it, I was like, are you joking? Is this already here? Um, so it came in this little box. Very cute box. And uh, I got 10 perfume samples. So they did have a lot of tissue paper and that in it just to keep it safe and sorry I'm just trying to show you what it looks like here so they had it wrapped really nice and they have like a stamp it looks like this but I thought that was really cute and also I just noticed that they have their other site on the tissue paper as well so it's called Anamkara Gifts A-N-A-M C-A-R-A -A gifts. So I guess that's the other site. Perfect. <laughs> um, so like I said, I did get 10 samples. They sent me another free sample, which was really nice. I really appreciated that. And it was one of the scents that I did want to get anyway. <laughs> so yay. Um, so we'll just dive into this. I will confess I have worn one of the scents already because let's face it, you get it in, you want to use it right away. So I will review that scent. Uh, first, it's called Raven in Winter. I thought that was nice. It's winter. It's cold out. Might as well smell like it. <laughs> um, so what I'll do is I'll smell them out of the bottle and then I will smell them on my skin. I have them on there. <laughs> So again, this is what they look like. I have used this before for an entire day and I use it to put on my skin right now. I don't know if you can see that. 
perfectly, but barely any of it has been used. And they came like full. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it there. So I use that for an entire day and then right now. And you can see how full it still is. Um, so when you open it, it's very like minty, woodsy. It's good. <laughs> Um, what I'll do is I will also list out the scents that they have with the perf uh, the perfume. Um, so they usually have like a little story or they kind of put it poetically for each scent. There is a story to each scent. I'm not going to read the whole thing for every scent. That would take forever. But I will just list what they have. Um, so for Raven and Windsor... They have Winter Winds, Burning Woods, Black Cardamom, Wild Peppermint, Darkest Musk, Feathers, Oak, and Teak. Um, so not very, like, feminine scents, I would say. And when you do smell it, it smells very unisexual. Um, if you are only into feminine scents, I would not recommend this one. I love unisexual scents, so I loved wearing this for the whole day. Um, and I'll just smell it on my wrist. Yeah, so on the skin, on my skin anyway, it mellows out a lot. It's not as, like, like, minty woods scent. It's very, it's very, like, put together. Like, I kind of can see how it, it would be, like, a raven with snow in its feathers, like, rushing past you, like, flying by. I don't, I don't know if a raven would ever do that, but it's really nice. I really enjoyed wearing it all day. Um, my skin, personally, I have really dry skin, so oils tend to just sink in really fast. Um, usually, like, two to three hours, the scent is completely gone, um, and it's just something you need to expect from oils instead of an alcohol-based perfume, um, and the same with these, with Red Deer Grow scents, after two or three hours, um, like a faint smell is left. I don't mind that. I love reapplying my perfume. It's just like going in and reapplying the lipstick and you're just freshening up, all that kind of stuff. I don't mind it. If you don't like that, then I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe the perfume mists are different. I assume that all of the scents have been sent as an oil just because it makes more sense. Um, yeah, so that's a really, it's really nice. Like you could wear it as a woman and you can wear it as a man and it's just very very nice it's strong like it's a sturdy scent um so we'll just move on to the second one <clears throat> which I had to get because it's Bohemian Rhapsody <laughs> one of the greatest songs ever so we'll just get that out and give it a smell out of the bottle <clears throat> Out of the bottle, it smells like a really nice cologne. It's very like wood and like man spices, I would say. <laughs> and then I'll just list out what is in it. This one has the longest list, so please bear with me. Um, so frankincense, myrrh, sandalwood, golden musk, nag champa, teak, cardamom, allspice, bay rum, dragon's blood, amber, clove, gardenia, honeysuckle, clover, tea leaf, bergamot, orange, and spiced lime. So I had to get it because it's Bohemian Rhapsody. I don't usually really like scents that have like Mag Champer or dragon's blood, like the incense. It just, it doesn't suit me. I like it on other people. I don't really find it suits me. Um, but yeah, I had to get it. Uh, and so... I'll just smell it on my arm. Yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot warmer and more feminine on the arm. Like very nice and warm and feminine. It's still spicy, very spicy. Um, yeah, that's really nice. Definitely a bit of a hippie smell and I, it is under Die Hard Hippies. It makes sense, um, but really, really nice. <laughs> Freddie Mercury would be proud. 
Uh, so we'll just move on to the next one. Uh, so this one is Brienne of Tarth. She's my favorite character. I had to get her scent. <laughs> Again, yeah, Game of Thrones. Like, so glad they have Game of Thrones scents. Uh, so out of the bottle, uh, Brienne of Tarth smells like. Yeah, like a, like a musky, outdoorsy floral, I would say. It's nice. It's feminine, but it's strong. Uh, so I'll just list out the notes. So they have amber, patchouli, musk, earth, florals, moss, evergreen, sandalwood, mandarin, bergamot, currants, Hair, air, wildflowers, herbs, woods. Those are the ones that are listed. Um, I'd also like to say that this is one of the only scents where it had like top notes, middle notes, base notes listed. A lot of the other ones don't. You kind of have to like guess. So that might be off-putting to some people. Um, I can kind of guess like which ones are base and which ones are top, but I still don't know for all of them like which is which, but that one definitely lists which is which. Uh, so I'll just give it a smell on my arm. All of these have been on my arm for about like 30 to 40 minutes now, so they'll have time to have like gotten the top note out, middle note, and kind of conglomerated. So right now on me, uh, I can smell kind of the warmth and the florals more. I don't smell the musk as much. There's a bit of like outdoorsy, but I would say it's more like warm and floral. Um, probably the amber and patchouli. Uh, yeah, really nice. Really nice. I'm really glad that they did well for my favorite character <laughs> uh so we'll just move on to wraith i believe this is under the truly peculiar peculiar sense um i was really drawn to it uh because of the withered roses which is one of the first things that they list um it's talking about a woman and it kind of lists like top middle base um so it says withered roses peony funeral lily uh disintegrating wood earth dark musk berries clove anise and almonds uh so we'll just smell that out of the bottle <clears throat> kind of like more of a gothic smell i would think I feel like my nose is broken now from <laughs> smelling them. I'm definitely getting the florals. And it's definitely not like a like a fresh summer day floral. It's definitely like a, they've been sitting there a while. But like in a good way. I like it. I I don't wear like gothic perfume very often, but this one's really nice. Um, so I'll just smell it on my arm. Oh, found another one. <laughs> oh yeah, so you can smell again, like, the florals. And I think the, the wood and the earth smells really, like, draw it down and make it kind of, like, more raw and, like, gritty floral. You know what I mean? Like, very, like, tough. It's very nice. All right, uh, so the last one that I'm going to review today is called Moon Garden. Um, <clears throat> so I'll just smell it out of the bottle. Very floral. Only floral. It's nice. It's really nice. It says Moon Garden, which makes me think of like Moonflower. But they don't have Moonflower listed. So I'll, I'll let you know 
what they have listed for it. Uh, Gardenia, Jasmine, Iris, uh, White Musk, Sandalwood, White Pear, Ylang Ylang, White Amber, Soft Powder, Papaya, Cedar, and Neroli. Um, I'm just going to smell it on my arm now. Yeah, again, very floral. Um, there is, you can smell the powder in there too. So it's a very like clean smelling floral. Yeah, I feel like they've all just, all the flowers have gone together. I have a hard time like picking out individual flowers when there's that many in there. I want to say I can smell like the jasmine and the ylang ylang. It's really nice. And also I find... This one's the one who that has stayed on the longest, uh, like the strongest scent, I would say. So if you do want one that lasts a bit longer, this is it <laughs> out of the five that I've tried. Um, so yeah, that is the five that I'm going to do today. They do have a lot, a lot of scents. Um, I will just show you the ones that I do want to get, like... There's that and a whole other page. Like they have over a hundred cents, like a lot of cents. Um, so I'm sure there's one that you will find in there that is great. Um, like I said, very cheap. It's two eighty for a sample. You can pick as many as you want. Um, they don't have like sample packs. It's just however many you want, which is great. Um, yeah, this is my first time ordering from them, and I am very impressed. Like very very impressed customer service is great shipping is fantastic uh the scents are original and awesome um so yeah i hope you found this helpful and i hope you have a great day bye